Hey everyone, Nick Majera here, and I'm gonna teach you how to create beautiful mortgage and real estate flyers. You don't need to be a graphic designer. You don't need any design skills at all. Uh, you just need to uh, be able to click a little button on your computer. So uh, stay tuned and uh, follow along. All right, fellow loan officers, I want you to go to the website canva.com. It's C-A-N-V-A.com. Uh, you're gonna have to create a account. It's free and uh, it takes about three minutes. I'm not gonna walk you through that because you can do that yourself and uh, you know it's super easy to do. Uh, so you're just gonna, uh, once you're logged in, you're gonna click Create Design. Now what Canva actually is, it, they've created a, a bunch of uh, really beautiful designs um, already done for you. So uh, you know you can create real estate flyers, you can also create like blog uh, uh, images, you can create Facebook posts, you can do you know full presentations, there, there's a bunch of stuff you can actually use this for. But I'm going to show you how to do it for real estate, so I'm going to click real estate flyers. Um, now that's actually one of the topics. Now there's a bunch of just real estate flyers here, as you can see. So. Um, uh, you're, you're gonna see if you look on the bottom right here there's a little dollar sign right there like right where my mouse is covering over um, and so you'll see some of these are free a hundred percent and some of these are paid now if they are paid the, the, the reason they're paid is because they have their images in there and so all you have to do is just remove those images and put your own images and the designs free um, and so let's just find one and then there is some that are just straight up free. so like this one it says free you can use their images you can just you know use everything but this is all you know really basic stuff it's all drag and drop and uh, you can change up all the words and everything so um, uh, let's see here I'm just gonna find one let me go to like one of those top ones uh, like this one so you just click on it and uh, so you see here we got the design now um, the, the images that have the, the, the word Canva over them those are the images that are paid and so we got to remove those and so the, the simple way to remove them is just we actually go to uploads and we can upload our own images and so uh, let me just upload this one here and you just drag your image over so that doesn't work there so I'm gonna drag this over and drag this over and then drag this over and as you can see this is all like drag and drop you just change up you know your design um, so yeah I'll just click for sale and I'll just go one two three four Main Street um, I'll just go three nine nine And you'll see, you know, I, I put too much in there, so I'm just gonna go to the font and change up that font size. All right, let's just center that now. And uh, let's just go uh, like you know, just something simple like that. So, um, all right, then uh, let's put in some, uh, you know, I. So what you it, for your own images, you're just gonna have to click, click on this, upload your own images, and you'll be able to you know upload your own stuff. I've already had a bunch of images in there that I've already uploaded. So uh, just as examples here, we're just gonna assume these are all from the same house, and uh, let's just say rather than having our image there, we want you know our main house image there, and so and then you know we can bring this back to the center. Bada bing, bada boom, there you go. So uh, we're just gonna click download and it asks you if you want PDF, uh, PNG or JPEG. So if you're putting it on your website, you want PNG or JPEG. If you are uh, you know, actually emailing it, you, you maybe still want PNG or JPEG. Um, maybe PDF is right for you as well, but if you're printing it, you'd definitely want the PDF dash print. Um, and you know they generally do the one that they actually recommend. Now, if you're actually sending this to like a professional printer to print, there is another additional setting there that says uh, uh, print with bleed marks. So those bleed marks are like printer things that you know the printers actually need uh, in order for uh, them to print professionally. So um, here we go. The PDF just opened, and we got our images on there. We didn't have to pay for anything. 100% free, and we got our awesome, awesome looking flyer. So uh, that's one of them. Let's you know. Let's take a look and let's say um, uh, 
let's say we're creating a new blog post on um, you see here I've you know I've actually these are ones that I've actually done before and so you might recognize these but I'll just do create design let's say we're doing a blog post on uh, how to get uh, you know um, how to get a first-time home buyer credit all right so I'm gonna search for blog title and it's gonna be, give me all these different designs for blog titles and you see here on the bottom right they say free so I know that those are free and uh, I could just scroll down here and there's a bunch of great ones um, then this one there's a little not a little free sign so it's paid it means that you know probably that image I'm gonna have to pay for or I put my own image and so uh, but that was pretty cool let's click on that and let's just let's see what we have to pay for here ah uh, yep it's that so if you want to upload your own image so interview featuring featuring all right so and I would again just click download and uh, you know this one it's for a website so I probably put PNG and you see it already recommended that so that's really cool so uh, and then if you want like let's say you're putting this over something you want this white to be transparent when you click download all you do is just click that little button or transparent background uh, that I think that's a paid feature actually so you just got to put more and learn about that um, but uh, you know that's as simple as it is guys um, I could do another one to just show you let's say we're doing a blog post like like I said on that first time home buyer um, and uh, let's just scroll down here let's find one this is perfect all right it is a paid one so that background image um, and uh, it, we're gonna have to pick our own background image so let's pick um, let's just have a, a picture of a house all right I like that and it gives it that same style and uh, let's just say the date that we are doing this is on August uh, let's do it on my birthday August 3rd let's just pick a date and webinar so let's say you're doing a webinar and you're doing a first-time home buyer one-on-one 101 let's change up this font to make sure it fits there it's be a little bigger and then you would want to you know put your website here boom all right download and uh, let's just click download let's do the whole the whole tutorial here you can see how easy this actually is we created three awesome flyers you know right away and uh, there you go webinar first time home buyer 101 course loansites.co and here's the date so we can post that on uh, that downloaded to our computer so we can post that directly onto our social media platforms or directly onto our website and uh, it's as easy as that guys so uh, hopefully you learned something there hopefully that helped um, if you are using this to create blog posts um, you know it, there's an easier way to go about this guys and it's just to hire our team so you know for loan sites what we actually do hold on here uh, what we actually do is we create websites for mortgage professionals like yourself and uh, what we do is we drive a ton of traffic to your website then we convert that traffic into leads and then the leads get to convert it into clients so it's all done for you it's a monthly subscription and it's about the price of a coffee uh, per day for you and so it's you know it, it's a no-brainer for you actually to sign up and, and, and get this done what we do is we create a new blog post on your site every single week for you we post it as you um, and that drives traffic to your site we then share um, onto your social media platforms every single week again get a quick drive of traffic to your website the blog post is long-term drive um, and then we create 10 different unique um, neighborhood pages or town pages on your website and get that really great local uh, search engine optimization make sure your site's number one on Google in your local area um, and that's again more traffic uh, we can help out with you know retargeting ads or different Google ads we actually have a ton of great uh, resources on our, on our loan site blog here you can check out to help you with that um, and then once we have all that traffic we have great call to actions uh, to actually turn the traffic into 
mortgage customers and so you can follow up with them. Um, you know, what's the point of a website if you actually aren't converting the, 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 the website uh, people visiting your site to leads? And so that's what we specialize in. If you guys have any questions, reach out with, uh, with anything. Um, you can also just shoot us a, a message on our website. Let's see here. Uh, you just, you know, click this little button here and uh, you can chat with us on Facebook. We also got a tutorial of how to integrate that into your mortgage website. So, you know, you can chat with customers directly. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully you learned something. Uh, feel free to reach out with any questions. Most of all, God bless and have a great day. Bye-bye.